<laughs> All right, he's gonna find the beat soon, man. Just give, give him a chance. <laughs> Trunk, you see him? <laughs> you like, you like when your daddy walk in the room? Yeah, look at what you like. <laughs> one, two, three. Mario, so you trying so hard? He got one eye, one eye closed. <laughs> Vin Diesel, your boy Vin Diesel. I know he's big, got muscles. Some people even say he's sexy, got screen presence, but that nigga ain't nothing but a cartoon now. <laughs> Straight up cartoon. I ain't talking about that damn tree. Sure, he's that tree. And we all know he's Groot. Groot. Baby Groot. Uh, uh, teenage Groot. Mm -hmm. They say next he's going to be Conqueror Groot. Oh, is that the right? Next thing. That's what they say. Okay. I don't give a what is he still talking tree to me? <laughs> Cartoon ass talking tree. And it was already getting silly with him when he was doing that Xander K shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that was a uh, damn 50 year old man rolling down the street on a, <laughs> on a skateboard. Tyrant. Skate on. Look at that. They're like, there's that old man on a skateboard. <laughs> You, look, they're like, you too old to be on that thing. Get off this bus. He's just a little bit older than me, just a little bit. So I ain't trying to talk about him. You know, hey, man, stay stay as young as you want to. Exactly. But, you know, really, really. But don't try to pass yourself off as 30. Mm -hmm. You know, look at me. Oh, I'm riding the bus. Look at me. Like, <laughs> the, the defined physics. <laughs> be, be a, but man, I'll just make a movie about a 50-year-old that don't want to grow up. He's sort of like the roadrunner in that... As long as he doesn't acknowledge physics, they don't have to work for him. Yeah, because and you know what? He is like the road runner and every other, every other cartoon character out there. He's gone full tune now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, is a, he is pretty much a tune at this point. And like they said in Roger Rabbit, who framed Roger Rabbit, you can't kill a tune. <laughs> You, 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 and that includes Vin Diesel. You can't kill Vin, no, <laughs> old Vinny D. Cannot. You cannot. Just like, just like, just like the coyote, man. He don't know. He don't recognize gravity and physics. That's how they stay alive. You can kick that off a building, man. He ain't gonna die. It'll be just like Looney Tunes. Just be, it'll just at the ground. It'll just be a crater of his shape down there. <laughs> like they throw cars at his ass. Look at this. That catches him like a like a basketball and shoots that shit like a three shot. Three pointers. I'm open. Yeah. <laughs> Swish. That just shoot a shot with a car, <laughs> and it went through the hoop too. Did you see? That? You can throw them off cliffs, set them on fire. You can throw cars at them, and now I got to the point where you can just straight up just shoot him in the face. <laughs> and he'll oh, just not and, that'll hurt. And that and them that CG will just come right back together again. <laughs> you know, it's a, I'm looking at this, and they say in the, in the they say in the movie that oh it's. It's the nanobots in his blood. It ain't no, it ain't nothing but his CG cartoon power. That's not good. The pixels just coming back together, man. Cause somebody pressed reverse on the computer. <laughs> Particle effect and yeah. reverse. Yeah, but if you go by the film, if you want to go by the film, which we should, which we should. It's the whole reason you go to a movie in the first place. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's already a cartoon character. Might as well make him a comic book character mm -hmm. too, which is what we have here. With Bloodshot, Bloodshot based on the Valiant comic of the same name that you see right here. And I don't know. I haven't read it. I don't know if the movie is faithful. Have you read this before? Uh, yeah, it's it's fairly faithful. Okay. So it's, Martin says it's fairly faithful. This follows the story of a soldier who was a badass before being a superhero. This is a guy named Roy Garrison. Ray. I'm sorry, Ray. Ray Garrison. Yeah, it don't matter at this point, does it? <laughs> it's Vin Diesel, no matter what. I know. I know. Is, it ain't, they they should have just called him. They, they could call him uh, Dominic Torello in this, yeah, man. Yeah. Because that's all he's playing right down. I mean, it's funny today, too, boy. I like that he's still working with his acting partner, that wife beater right there. <laughs> I, I, man, he... he 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 must be selling Vin Diesel brand <laughs> wife beaters over in other countries, and we just don't see them here. Jesus Christ! Is, is is you know is this power in that that tank top? And if you want to ask the question, does he wear that wife beater that that white wife beater all through the movie? No. At some point, he changes into a black. Yeah, <laughs> he sure does. The nanobots change colors for him. 
it must be in his contract that me and this this wife beater must never separate. Uh-huh. No, when he signs, the wife beater signs right underneath. Him. Yeah. <laughs> I have, you know what? I just want to run up on him and just yank that t shirt right off of him and just watch him just lose all his muscles. Yeah, that, just, that thing just, is stuck to him like, like, like a symbiote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's venom for him. If somebody can find a way to rip that tank top off his ass, I swear to God, he would just wither. Oh, no, my power. <laughs> It'll be, his voice will change. No, my power. All, all, all his muscles will go uh, away. <laughs> yo, not my wife beater, no. <laughs> just be on the ground, just weak. <laughs> no. No, my powers. <laughs> yeah, nigga, take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just, I think at the end of the day, that shirt leaves his body and goes to his own trailer. <laughs> Good job today, shirt. Yeah, you too, man. <laughs> Ray Garrison, I said he was a badass before. He, you know, he's out there fighting hostage, fighting, fighting terrorists, saving hostages. With only his wits and his and his great military skills, and after saving hostages, after a hard day of saving hostages and killing terrorists, he he just wants a little little sexy time with his wife. And, and who wouldn't? And who wouldn't, man? Beautiful woman. But things turn tragic. When they are both kidnapped and just killed and horrific, just murdered, just murdered in horrific cold blood by murdered so, yeah, by so-called terrorists there. Uh, but thanks to this new nanotech technology that they have here, they're able to bring my man back. They said, "You get something that hardly anybody gets. You get a second chance, my friend." And you know, not only do you get a second chance to come back, but you also get a second chance to go out there and do some good for the world. But can he do that despite his lust for revenge? Can he control his anger? Yeah, we brought you back to do some good. Yeah, before I do all that good, I'm going to go get revenge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to do some good for me. <laughs> Y'all killed my family. <laughs> family mean everything to bro bro. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Bloodshot, and we'll be right back with our review. With the technology in your veins, you have an army inside you that will not only make you stronger, it will- Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That's a, that's a load-bearing poach. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they bring your brain back. <laughs> I love the chat. Somebody said, nano bro bro. <laughs> You know nothing about men like me. It's exciting as that, that shot was, the thing I was like going, man, bloodshot, he's got enhanced speed mm-hmm. and enhanced strength, and he heals instantly and can take any amount of damage. And yet, there's nothing he does in this movie that's more impressive than what Dominic Toretto does in the Fast and the Furious movies. Uh, it's funny that this is even more realistic than the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> Yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah, they do apply real world physics <laughs> compared to the Fast and Furious. It's just a documentary. <laughs> you might as well be watching a nature show. So <laughs> it's, it don't make any goddamn sense, and yet it's still more logical than what they do in the Fast and Furious. But I will say this: I'm just gonna be honest with you, man. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you some full disclosure about my attitude, which was not the best when I was watching this movie. Because when I was watching this movie, Martin, I'm not going to lie, I was in full snobbery mode. Oh, were you? Yes, for the first 20 minutes of watching this movie, I was sitting up here. I was rolling my eyes every five seconds. I had that asshole left. <laughs> I had my pinky out. I wasn't even drinking none. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. You know, it didn't help that I also had a woman. You probably heard her. Yeah. There's a woman sitting next to me. Everything was amazing to her. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Oh, wow. And she was, I mean. I know. And and she was just saying things. It's so obvious, but that's because she was so into into the movie. Oh, oh, wow. Is that going to kill him? And I was like, I just, and I couldn't say shit because it was that, it was that couple that when I sit down, they were like, Oh hi, how are you? I saw that. Yeah, you, were, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were you were chatting with them ahead of time. You gotta learn your lesson, man. I was talking to them. They, they were like, you know, we used to go to these all the time when we were in Colorado. We this is our first time here in Austin watching this, and I was just like, these 
I'm going to talk to this whole film. <laughs> First of all, we ain't never seen them before. They knew here, so uh-huh. they probably, in Colorado, they probably high as f- watching uh-huh, movies, just uh-huh. talking their ass off. And then I had, Between you know, the weed and the high altitude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> no oxygen getting to their brain. <laughs> And I had to sit up there, you know, and I, oh, new to Austin, well, welcome. Hey, you know what? You're going to learn that people are very friendly here. <laughs> it's famous last exactly. words. Hey, can you shut the f*** up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was grabbing her, oh, no, do you see? He's the lead. He's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, shut the f*** up. <laughs> I couldn't say anything, no. <laughs> just just gritting your teeth. <laughs> even when I sat down, because I, I had to go in there, got my nasty-ass food. When I uh. sat back down, even the guy was nice. He was like, yeah, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to miss half the shit be, being distracted from your ass talking through the movie. I'm going to narrate it to you <laughs> as you watch it. <laughs> Saying obvious shit. Yeah. Really obvious shit. Like when they, like, uh, real, real, real obvious shit, man. I'm not even lying. Like the shit when uh, he got. Not not this part. But there are other parts where he uh where his he you know he got injured and she would say shit that we know from the premise of the movie. They're gonna put him back together again. Oh. He's gonna it's gonna be put back together. Oh, I was like, man, God damn it! Wow, it's very everything's very cliche from the opening, from the opening scene, man. Of this, uh, you know they got this thing here when uh when the movie opens up, you know he's fighting terrorists, you know they all is it. Opens up in that same village. <laughs> yeah. And always, and before the before the attack happens, they always had that one terrorist walking around all sweaty, looking around and shit, to, you know, speaking in some language we can't understand, so we know that he's foreign. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, looking at dogs and shit. And they always start out with the same like, oh, somebody <laughs> You know, just, we don't know what they're talking about. And just talking to themselves, they're walking away. You know, so we know that they're terrorists. And then uh, the romantic scenes that happen later in this, they got all these cliched lines that people would, you know, this they, they just sound fully scripted, man. Like if you said half this shit that they were saying to your girl, she'd be like, get the fuck out of here. You just kill the mood. I know. My my vagina's limp. Yeah. I, can't, I can't take this now. The villain in this is oh, your boy Toby Kelly. Toby. Oh, Toby. <laughs> your name Toby. <laughs> Way too happy to be evil. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know dancing like he's like he like he's in Reservoir Dogs or something. Shit, dance like he's from. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. He what, was doing he was doing a whole step show. I act like he's from West Side Story. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, b- b- before you knew you were gonna kill us, you yeah. choreographed it. Yeah, he dance? choreographed it. <laughs> yeah. How can somebody so happy be evil? <laughs> right. I ain't lying. I'm a twirl. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's the point. If I was Vin Diesel, like, man, just get this shit over. He can right. be goddamn gone. <laughs> and then Vin Diesel gets his powers, and that just did it in for me. It's like he once he got his powers, there were so many moments where there was laps of logic going on. Things that just didn't make sense that he was doing. I was like, how do you allow, how do you have an experiment like this? And, uh, and you managed to not think about this detail right here. You didn't lock the door. He just broke free. <laughs> He's out there running the streets. Well, even even yeah, they you know they you see in the trailer they, they resurrect him, and say like, hey, you killed, we brought you back. I was like, there's a whole shitload of questions he should be asking, that he's not. No, he's not. And they're not telling him. Yeah, and it's so it's so easy for him to 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 get out. And there's a there's a, a truck already waiting <laughs> with keys. Yeah, and I'll, but yeah, he don't ask questions. He's like, I gotta save my wife. I gotta rev- I gotta avenge my wife. Uh, me angry, you know. He's at that. He really is that point. Like he's just a big ass Frank. Is the me angry? Like, and I and I said, man, I can't wait to get to this studio and talk shit about this movie. Ooh, we Vin Diesel. I got something for you. Ooh, Bloodshot. I got something for you because the shit was so dumb. And then all of a sudden, the movie said, "Ah, ah Corey, <laughs> switch." <laughs> It is you that is dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as dumb as you look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you no, that that was that was a, a good thing right? that because yeah, I was like you. I was like, all right, this is this is what we're here for. Uh, yeah, l- l- such a laundry list. I'm tired of writing stuff down as wrong. And then they re- they do that big reveal, and I was like, <gasps> yeah. I, okay, now I have Man. to go back and rethink this whole first. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it it, just, it does something. At at some point, where it just made me feel so stupid, uh-huh. I got offended. I was like, uh-huh. 
You lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me. No, no. You, you, hey, you said I was cliche. You, you had it all figured out. Yeah. You, you didn't have this all figured out. You sure? I was like, how, how could you? I trusted you. I trusted you. <laughs> Bloodshot. I don't know you anymore. Nah, you were so smart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, no, I watched you sit up there laughing. I saw your eyes rolling. <laughs> Yeah, I was telling that bitch to keep talking to the movie just to annoy your ass so you couldn't even see what was happening. You'd be distracted by that slight of hand I had right, right before you right there. That one was probably a plant. But, you know, the, the, the movie goes and it just laughs at itself for what it did before. Mm -hmm. You know, all those things that they were doing before the movie when it seems dumb is very calculated to the point that they even make uh, references in the dialogue to what was happening in the film. And everything starts to make sense. It gets you uh, pretty excited for the possibilities that you see going forward because, you know, these people got these, you see the special effects going on. These people got these cool cyborg limbs and, you know, they're going to do something really awesome with the that. The prosthetics were pretty cool. They were. No, they were, man. Everybody got one. I mean, even if you're just a nerd working in the lab, Guy Pierce got a mechanical hand. Uh -huh. Got a, a bionic masturbating hand right there. <laughs> so, you know, uh, new characters introduced. Uh, you You look forward to seeing what... New secrets there are to discover and uncover. You know, everyone, everyone looks at this bad movie, man. Everyone looked at this bad movie and they're saying, okay, you know what? We got that shit over with. You know, now that we got that shit done, oh, here come the good stuff right now. And everybody hears that. And everybody says, okay. Everybody hears that. Except Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> He slept through the whole meeting right there. <laughs> it's like Vin, Vinny, everybody moved on with this movie. Everybody's getting on to the real film now. And Vinny D just still sleeping on this shit. He's still stuck in this shitty movie that we just got through with. Yeah. That, was, that was pretty much a joke. Uh -huh. That was pretty much something that was just a MacGuffin in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's just kind of like, that. God damn, man, did you see that twist back there? <laughs> exit! Exit! <laughs> It's, I, I tell you why, man, I feel like th this way about Vin Diesel, because, and you might feel differently, Martin, if you do, I respect, I don't know, I, I, don't, I really don't know if people are going to like this movie or not, I really did love the setup of this film, and when I, when I didn't actually at first, but once everything kind of came together, like, this is, this is really clever. Yeah. But people hire Vin Diesel, man, people hire Vin Diesel just, just, to, uh, just to be angry. At this point, people hire Vin Diesel because uh, <clears throat> they just, you know, they like him being mad. They hire him because of what he does in Fast and Furious. He growls, gets angry, and kicks ass. Every now and then, you see him smile, like, you know, especially at the beginning of the movie, like, hey, how you doing? But something will piss his ass off, and that, 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 that dude would just obsess over it. And that's how he'll spend the rest of the movie. And he'll stay angry for the rest of the film. And because of that, because of him being pretty much the characters that we've seen in all these Fast and Furious movies, and now he's brought it to this, we ain't asking for anything too deep out of Fast and Furious. Everything they set up is dumb right from the beginning. It's true. It's, it's so, they hit you with stuff that's so dumb so early on that you realize, all right, I, I can't sit around criticizing this. Yeah. It's, it's, just, yeah, you, yeah. It, it, it's taking itself out of play. They, Fast and Furious... They never ask you. They never ask you. They never, they never stop and say, hey, take me seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? No, what, for real. What, what do you think of this? <laughs> yeah. You know, no one. You know, in Fast and Furious, they never uh, sat down with a friend and said, you know what? No one ever takes me seriously. They ain't never said that. This movie sets up a really complicated and deep story. Mm -hmm. And Vin <laughs> Diesel, uh, he's just not, he just brings nothing to the character. Okay, I would correct you on one thing. What's that? Where you said they hire Vin Diesel to be this this big, uh, brooding, angry guy. That's not actually correct. It's always him as the driving force on these things. Is it? Because outside of Fast and Furious, you notice how he makes a lot of very mediocre action movies. Like the, the Riddick and The Last Witch Hunter. And now this, and he has these, you know, he's got mm -hmm. a geek sensibility. Mm -hmm. He's probably read Bloodshot and said, I, I should be that character. I mean, look, I'm big. I'm bald. Um, he's a superhero. 
I'm I'm pretty much a superhero. Yeah. And yeah, he's I I believe he, you know, he's he's one of the big creative forces on it and he, you know, it's his take on the character. So, I'm not blaming the people who hired him. It's just him, but you're right about him not bringing anything to the character. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he brings the physicality. I mm-hmm. will not take that from him. He's he he does great at that. And when he's supposed to be angry and and beating the shit out of people, he's good. But it's those moments when he's supposed to show humanity and I was like, Man, he's like a guy playing poker but only has two cards. <laughs> and he does this in every one of these movies. It's, it's that same kind of almost like, like, like false humanity. Like, yeah, I'm a big guy, but I'm, I'm a little soft-hearted at times. And, and yeah. I can smile and, 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 and talk a little bit soft. But it's like, that's not a human being. No, it's not. <laughs> that's just somebody reading dialogue who's, who's currently not screaming. Well, you know what? I'll meet you halfway on this because I know he puts in his contract, you know, like, I have to win every fight in Fast and Furious. Uh, you yeah. know, they can't hit me more than I hit them. And yeah, yeah. So I, I'll, I will give you that. But the, the, in the movie, they give him some terrible lines, man. Mm-hmm. They actually give him lines where he says, he says, uh, I will find you and I will kill you. And even Liam Neeson came in, hey, 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 that's my shit, man. <laughs> they actually interrupted him <laughs> from saying he didn't even yeah. get to finish that line. Yeah. Somebody said, man, that's not a thing. Come on, you know, that's, that's a little bit too much right there. He's, he actually says lines like that. You better kill me. I'm going to find you no matter what. You know, lines like that, man. Who am I? What have you done? I mean, there is nothing going on in this character. Sometimes Vin Diesel, you ever notice in every movie, I'm not lying. Notice this. Vin Diesel will, he'll get so mad the motherfucker would just lose himself in anger. He'll just, <laughs> yes. He would just stare. Yes. He'll just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes. No, no, no. He he did capture that where they, they, were, they were just telling like, man, you're just nothing but rage and revenge. Yeah. And yeah, you see, it's almost like his eyes were starting to go in two different directions. <laughs> If Vin Diesel, and this is in every movie lately, Vin Diesel will get so mad, he'll just stop and just start staring at the floor. I don't even know if he remembers what he's mad at. He'll just stop and just get transfixed on something. Meanwhile, the villains are like, let's get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> he's distracted. Shit. <laughs> they start tipped on his. Vin Diesel just loses. He'll just stop and just start looking at nothing. And people over there scared to say, hey, Vin, I don't, I don't do that shit. <laughs> you want to wake up and kill everybody in this <laughs> room? <laughs> <laughs> He's just not an interesting character, mm. and he should be. You know, there there are requirements of what is being done in his character that he needs to be deeper than what's going on here. He does. I mean, part of it is we don't get to see much of Ray Garrison before all this happens. Mm-hmm. And, okay, say we don't, but that's when you should have quiet moments where that gets filled in. Yeah, yeah. And, that does not happen. There's there's one there's one quiet moment that's pretty good, and what makes it good is a lot of the other actor he's in the scene with. He's so mentally tormented that this is a character that should be brought to tears when he sees certain things. Mm-hmm. It's a character a character that should just be uh, at point just no matter how big and strong he is, he should just be brought down to weakness from the the mm-hmm. mental torment that he has had. Uh, you know there 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 are moments here when. He's bonding with his closest allies that there should even be some humor yeah. in there. And it's not. This man is on one mode. Yep. <laughs> one speed. One speed, one lane, one speed, one mode. Whatever you want to call it. That's I mean, I all guess he whatever had. They 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 uh they manufacture bloodshot 2.0, he'll have emotions. But. Yeah. And like we said, Vin Diesel, I hesitate to look, I don't know who's to blame at all. And if he is, then he should like I know the, uh, people go where the money is. Comedians make comedies even if they're capable of drama because people they just people don't want to see me do anything else. This guy's capable of doing some good things, man. I, I that's why I don't want to like come in like really just talk terribly bad about actors because I know a lot of times it depends on the project. Sure. You know, I always say that there's a one of my favorite Vin Diesel movies out there is when he was much younger playing an older guy, which is Find Me Guilty. I'm Jackie Denosio. I'm defending myself in this case. Sometimes I think I had too much legal experience. He puts four bullets in you and he loves you? Yeah, he loves me. You know, this he's a, he's really good. I was trying to just show you more scenes. That he's really good in this. Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, the, the, you, ain't, you don't see that today. No, I haven't seen that since. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is true, man. I don't know how you feel about this, but watching this, I, you know, I don't, I don't think that the other villains in the movie are much better. Uh, in fact, I would say some of them are worse. 
who is the guy that plays Dr. Ock in here, whatever? You know, the guy with the... Uh, I know you're talking about with the uh, Dr. Octopus arms. I don't know. I, I didn't recognize anybody except Guy Pierce and the and the hacker dude. Yeah, I mean, he comes into a room and, you know, it's these people can't even... They're so mean and, and evil, they can't even muster up a hello. He comes in, hey, guys, how you doing? One guy just looking, hi. You know, Jesus, man. Yeah. If you ain't gave it away that you were feeling right now. Sam out- Hugh Hugan uh, from Outlander. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. But when they turn out to not be friendly, you know, to our hero, that should be like a, aw, as opposed to, well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he should be experiencing loneliness, mm-hmm. uh, isolation, confusion. Ain't none of that. Mm-mm. The moment he comes back to life, I got to get those. You know, I was like, come on, man. Can we have just a, a moment of breathing room here? I keep saying that you can use a PG-13 rating. If they really want to push a hard PG-13, you can use it to, to sell something like The Punisher. I thought that this was rated R at one time. This is PG-13. Yeah, it's, it's not bloody. You can, you can beat the shit out of You can rip people apart. You can take heads off people. As long as they, if they ain't got no blood, mm-hmm. if they ain't spouting out their veins, mm-hmm. you can get away with a lot. Mm-hmm. You can rip somebody's dick off if you want to as long yeah. as they, as long as ain't no blood spouting out of that groin, you True. okay. That's what this movie does, man. This movie actually has points. See, they get away with it. And that's why you get away with, uh, that's why you get away with scenes like, like, like this because like, you can blow his face off. Oh, that's not good. But as long as there's no blood, mm-hmm. as long as we know that even he's going to come back together, you can be graphic with it. And that's more gruesome because you, you, you're looking at the, the muscles and the teeth in his head. There's a moment where he turns around, his jawbone is sticking out. Yeah. He, when he's looking at somebody, man. It's, uh, you know, uh, but the thing with uh, Vin Diesel in this, yeah, he doesn't bleed. So that means that you can, uh, you can actually... Do what you, you can you shoot want bullets to. through him. Like, and he takes a lot of bullets in his body. You know what? That's something. I, like the character in the, in the book. Right. But that was one of those things where they're like, hey, you know, with these nanites, you can take punishment. But it does take something out of you. So yeah. knowing that, I was like, why is he walking into the bullets? It's like <laughs> he could just easily do this stealthily <laughs> and, and save himself. I'm angry. <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro, mad. <laughs> Driven by rage. There are moments in here, like I said, he's getting... He's getting blown apart. They're shooting bullets all in him. He's grabbing people and th- like like that. You know, he's crushing people's skulls. Uh-huh. Don't don't let him catch your ass midair in the throat. <laughs> oh no. He they, was and the 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 sound editing department, they they went ooh. they went nuts. Ooh, you can hear every bone. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, you might not see blood, but you can hear every bone crack. Like and under that helmet, his like you just saw this shit right here. Under that helmet right there, it, that's soup. Yep. <laughs> that is a stew under there. <laughs> he catches. Don't let him get you that move while he got you by the throat because it's, it's Mortal Kombat after that. He will take your ass <laughs> and in slow motion slam you to the ground. Mm-hmm. And people can't do nothing. Shit, that was one slow motion shot. One dude got caught was getting on his way down. He just said, <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. I admired that a lot. I thought that that was, uh, they, 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 you know, what they're able to do with the nanobots. It made for some creative, uh, creative scenes of violence. It did. I, I was back and forth on the action because some of it was just, uh, you know, a little hard to see and and what you expect. Mm-hmm. But then others of it was bone crushing and you know had me going, ooh, yeah. Uh, there's a really great chase sequence in here. Yeah. And then you got the the, the you know one of the final fights and, and it's an all CG fight, but it, yeah. was, it was cool. You know the stuff they do it as. It, that was when it was like, okay, now we're going full comic book on, on this. I'm glad also that they did not try to create a force, a universe. They've hinted that because Valiant Comics has its own universe, mm-hmm. Sony, this is their attempt to do Marvel now. They've hinted that depending on the success of this movie, they want to do the Valiant universe. And actually, I don't blame them because there are tons of characters here that yeah. they could do. But So I don't blame them for trying – See, I don't mind if you want to start a universe. Just don't force it at the end. Sure. They did not. This is a standalone movie. The thing about the action in the film is that while it's enjoyable and it's creative and it does have a, uh, it, it's a, it, it's very well paced. Mm-hmm. They got a great car chase in here with a motorcycle and, and they do a lot of the cliches you see in the car chase, but they hear these people are enhanced yeah. by, you know, they're, they're cybernetic. So this, it, they're able to do things that we can't do in traffic to where we try to do this. We crash in two seconds. Uh, the stuff that we see here that's happening, though, is fun. But after a while, though, man, where we had a good story, where things seem to be going well, 
explosions in slow motion. They just came in and took over. <laughs> They just said, you know, that story was going well. Right, right, right. And the explosion slow right, get up, just, get up. Yeah, right. yeah. We, yeah we, 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 we're shutting down. We're taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, 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 move. We got this shit. Move. Like, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. came in wearing some <laughs> with badges. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, have, we have authority here. <laughs> yeah, man. They don't care in this. They have so many explosions in this movie. And they and it's, it's soon where the, like, the explosions happen and the explosions not only are happening, but then you get explosions in slow-mo. Mm -hmm. So many explosions in slow-mo. It's so slow, you got other explosions photobombing the other explosions that are happening. Yeah. I mean, it's, this movie, you know, it's directed by a first-time director. It is? Yeah. It, it, he's a first-time director and all he's done before was special effects for video games. That says a lot here because it, I mean, for some if you if you're into action and that's all, that's fine. And I was even getting annoyed the way they kept slowing it down. You know, everybody, man, we we kind of passed that now. It's like where I'm about to slap the are. shit out of you, and it takes me like ten minutes. Like, <gasps> you know, they love doing this in the movie, mm -hmm. and it gets annoying because they're so wrapped up now in their effects, in the action. And all the fire explosions and fireballs they have here that they have really... What was a good story uh, has taken over thing. And in fact, it's that's the way they resolve things. You know what? Just blow them up. Yeah. They, that is that's their, true. That is their resolve. It takes away from the story arcs that they set up in the film. Now, there go those explosions right there. I'll tell you, like with this girl, uh, Isa, is that her name? Isa Gonzalez? Isa Gonzalez? Is, is that, I, I didn't see how it was spelled. Isa. Uh, man, that girl's crazy hot. She is, man. She yeah. is. I, every time she was on screen, I was like, I, I don't care about anything else that's going on. Well, good, because there wasn't nothing going on. <laughs> she has this thing where she does not like the experiments that are happening. She does not like what's happening with Vin Diesel. She hates Guy Pierce, but they never elaborate on it. We never find out why she really hates him all that much. We just kind of get into it. Uh, they have this thing, this relationship. Well, it's explained, but they just never do anything with it. It's laid out and then left alone. Speaking of Guy Pierce, Guy Pierce actually is in the film. Guy Pierce is uh, he starts out very interesting. He's Dr. Emil Harding. He's the guy that's heading up the project that makes him uh, uh, Vin Diesel, uh, Ray Garrison, the, the the superhero that he is, have, gives him the powers that he has. He starts out very interesting, and by the end of the movie, he ends flat. Well, he's he's sort of just a, he's adjacent to the character he was in Iron Man three. He sure was, <laughs> except more shallow. Yeah, it really was not good. I mean, but the thing you start out strong, and the movie just gives up. The movie, I mean, the movie really does like just kill all the arcs with explosions at near the end of the movie. But instead, you got jokes. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Oh boy, they got jokes. They got jokes, and they never stop. At least one character. One don't. character. Good Lord. God damn. Let me find this son of a bitch right here so I can show you who we're talking about. And I'm on the brother's side too, man. I I, I like the actor, but man, there's nothing worse than somebody in front of you telling jokes that aren't funny and they won't stop. And they won't stop. Talking about our boy Lamorne Lam Norris. There you look at him. He's like, yeah, I got you. Look, look at him. I got them jokes for you. He's got, look, I... Somebody told this dude right here. I mean, everything is a goddamn joke to him. Yep. Everything. Somebody said to him, man, you are funny. I'm going to have you in the movie and just let you riff and just just whatever comes to mind, you just say it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So somebody told his brother, man, you got a great British accent. Uh-huh. And he just he just ran with it. So is he, he actually not British? He doubled, no, he's not. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe Cause, he Because I was like, man, I, I don't know anymore. He's good days. enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his accent didn't sound bad. But it was just annoying because he was annoying. Yeah. He turned into Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins to the whole thing. Just cracking jokes the whole time. Uh -huh. Brother, man, just take one thing seriously. Just one. one. Just one. Not everything is a f***ing joke. Okay, stop. Please. I'll give him some credit. Maybe the character was written as British and they just, he did a good job and they just let him do it. Okay. Maybe he's a good agent. I don't know. Okay. Hey, look, I don't give a f British people always come over here and take our jobs. We're going to take yours. Yeah, let that brother have it. I did like this guy, man, and I'm gonna tell you how racist I was. I spent all day trying to find out who this dude was. I thought I saw this movie called Britney Runs a Marathon, and uh -huh. I thought oh. that was the guy that was in the movie. Uh -huh. And it's <laughs> not. That's not. That's yeah. not. It's a total, completely <laughs> different dude. So Darth Don Dananje. Oh, was his name Randy? He, yeah, he plays a tech guy in the movie, and I thought he had some good. No, no, no. Lines. But the, the, the stuff between him and and, and Guy Pierce. <laughs> 
That was genuinely funny. Because Guy Pierce couldn't stand him. <laughs> yeah. He was slacking. He was he's coming asking dumb questions. Yeah, it's like having a boss who's on your ass because you are fucking up. <laughs> But he's but he's good at his at his job. He's good at his job. He's great at his job. You yeah. know what I felt like? I felt like that was me and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those situations where he is good at his he's job. He's great at his job, but he always doing something crazy. My guy, like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> but no, he brought in some really funny lines, man. Yeah, he you know he's not in the movie a whole lot, but he was funny, man. I liked him. See, that was the kind of humor that worked. It was. No, you're right. And I, and I just want Vin Diesel to lighten up, man. Vin, man, why are you doing this shit? When, when, when Vin Diesel is in these movies, he's mad and got his brow all furled and he's angry and shit. He's all walking around with a, a cloud over his head. And, and then when he gets home on that webcam, the motherfucker is just as jolly and happy. Man, he in the movie just mad. Well, they killed my family. I got to get revenge. Yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm Dominic. I don't got powers. I got to get back at the world. And then you put him in there, put him in a room with a webcam and get him a couple of shots. And he's yeah. like, hey, hey. I miss, uh, I miss that Benny D right there. Look at <laughs> Yeah, look at it. Yeah, yeah, shit. I got it. <laughs> Where is that? Where is that? I want that Vin Diesel. Yeah, right. drunk, drunk at home dancing Vin Diesel. <laughs> hey, they just say happy bro bro. Drunk bro bro. He still got that goddamn tank top on. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, if you went in his closet, that's all it would be. <laughs> Probably takes him 10 minutes to pick one out, huh? Black, white, black, white. <laughs> still, boy, got, it, got his homeboy with him, his tank top. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna find a beat soon, man. Just give, give him a chance. Trunk is <laughs> You like you like when your daddy walk in the room. Yeah, look at what you're like. <laughs> one, two, three. three. Martin, no. so you trying so hard, he got one eye one eye closed. <laughs> he like that drunk daddy that come in when you when your yeah. friends having a party. Uh, hey, yeah, what y'all kids yeah, doing yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Oh, you don't look know, at it. You, know about you can't get it like this. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> but I tell you, I, I'm going to wrap it up, but let me go ahead and pass it on to you, man. Take it, man. Tell people what you're feeling. It lands in a, in a, in a very middle-of-the-road, mediocre spot where there's some good action and yet there's some bad writing. Mm-hmm. All these ideas are super fresh from back in the 90s when this <laughs> first came out. But watching it now, like even everything they have in here, almost everything, but if, just a few exceptions. Yeah. It's like, man, I this feels like it's carved together from so many different things. Yep. You know, it it'd be interesting for me. I would like for this movie to be successful in as much as I think they could really do something with another one. Or I would love for them to open up the the Valiant universe because I think so many more of their superheroes are way more interesting than Bloodshot. It's a it's a high rental. By no means do I think that this is awful. I don't think it's as bad as some people have been wanting this to be, that, that they predict that, that they have predicted this to be. I don't think it's that bad at all. And whoever was in the chat who said that, I think I, I, think I know the movie you're talking about, because I said, you know what? This could have been, if they followed through with the ideas until the very end, it could have been a, just a, a bigger budget version of this film. <laughs> I do like damn. He grows up like Dracula. <laughs> yeah, upgrade. Somebody guessed it. It was upgrade because a lot of this, there's a lot of similarities with upgrade. Oh here. yeah, like you said, these concepts aren't new, Mm-mm. but they don't do anything really new or fresh with them. You and I are in full agreement, man. I'm looking at this, and I have given this a rental. Yeah, yeah just a rental, man. Yeah. It's not. It's, believe me, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It reminds me of something that I would see on cable. Yeah. Uh, it's also. I mean, I don't know if enough people even read. Dead uh, bloodshot to care, but it is another one of those superhero movies where the the actor doesn't resemble the superhero except for in one scene because Bloodshot's supposed to be just stark white with the red. <coughs> yeah, glow in his and he got hair. Oh, uh, yeah, that's oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. well, he, yeah, he's got one scene where he turns white near the end, and that's about it. And a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like. Really, of all these effects, that's that's the one thing you guys are going to ignore? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, brand recognition and all. Yeah. Staying on model, but hey, never mind. Y'all Let's gave him. Vic- 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 Vic-
Screw me. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all gave him everything. 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 You couldn't have like a wig blob and <laughs> dude and land on his head for a little while. What are you changing this shit? <laughs>